ever been to a party and been like, hmm, this party can use some old school nostalgia here. I could be talking to a pretty girl, talking to old friends about good old times, or cry later because I like the confidence to face them. But nah, that's lame. How about hooking up a bunch of USB drives to a living room computer so you could play some old school arcade games? What's sexier than showing off your Super Smash Brothers skills, huh? Some Mario Kart, you know what I'm saying? Aiden Chronicles? Ugh. Well that's what we're gonna do today, my friends, as we're gonna take a normal, ordinary USB stick and turn it into a very promising and powerful arcade setup, as well as another USB stick to hold all our ROMs in. So if you've been following me for a while now, we'll be using the same emulator front end that we used in the turning a computer into a game console video known as Laka, only this time we're going to install it in a different way. As simply, we're just going to put it on a USB drive so that every time you start up someone's computer, you can choose to boot from that instead of Windows, thus having Laka appear and not ruin any operating systems that computer already has on it. Simple as that. So the first thing we're going to want to do is download Laka, which you can find in the link in the description below, as well as the maximum tips bundle for today's tutorial. Once we have Laka downloaded, plug in our USB drive of choice into our computer, and run the two programs we got from this bundle, the first being SD Formatter to format our USB drive so it's as clean as a whistle, and Etcher, which we're going to use to take our Laka image file and install it on our USB drive. Now that our USB drive has Laka, I decided to also grab another USB drive, you know they're cheap nowadays so why not, and fill it with ROMs. You can organize it however you want, as long as you can find it in the Laka program itself. I always try to organize them by system so that when you scan them later it'll automatically detect it. But once you added those ROMs of your choice, unplug your USB drives and head to our test computer, or this one if you're using it. Turn on the computer like normal, but once we hit the splash screen here, press this key or whatever key is located here to get to the boot menu, and then select the USB drive with Laka installed on it. Its splash screen should appear. Then it should boot up to the main blue screen. I should also mention that you can plug in a 360 controller and it'll automatically recognize it, but I'll link you a documentation in case you want more information on controller support. Now to add games to our system, we'll plug in our USB drives containing our games and scroll all the way to the plus icon on the right. Select scan directory and head to your ROMs folder. One by one, go to each folder and select scan this directory so that Laka can create a menu for that system. So now when we're on the main menu, you can see it. Once you do, you can select a game of choice and just start playing. It's as simple as that. Of course, you can always customize the Laka menu of your choice with different themes, icons, and even box art. The official documentation below goes into more detail as well as my previous video on the subject, but if you really don't care just how it looks like and just want to play some games, then that's all there is to this setup. So next time your friends are over your house and you want to play some classics from the past, just find a usable computer and boot up into your kick-ass USB drive. Hope y'all like this quick tutorial. If you want more gaming tutorials, check out my previous videos as well as the other Laka tutorial I made as well gotta keep those classics alive somehow. Consider subscribing if you want more tutorials in the future. 